mission to destroy. Yeah! I love our ball. Siren Ice Jazz set to go in this 45 second game where goals in the outer cylinders are worth two points, a goal in the center cylinder worth three. Kathy Marino, Beth Albright set to go. They showed very well in the preliminary seeding round matches. And Elizabeth Albright scores first. And one of the outer cylinders, Ice wraps her up there though. Beth, of course, still nursing those sore ribs. You can see that she's taped around her midsection. She's fighting hard. Kathy Marino turns Ice around. Ice thought she had some help. Now, Kathy's limping. She had that hamstring pull. Oh. Elizabeth Albright, oh man, she runs into Siren after getting by Jazz. We're under 10 seconds. Kathy trying to power one home. Can't do it. Time maybe for one more. No. And that is it. What a battle. Well played by both gladiators and contenders. Well, the contenders certainly had their hands full today. Both ended up with only two points. Gladiators were on fire. Let's take one more look. There's Ice wrapping up Elizabeth. Ice, Jazz, Siren, well played. And tough as usual. You shut down the two contenders this time around. This was the best game of Powerball I've played in a long time, Mike. These girls are awesome. Teammates. Excellent teammates, they're hitting the ground hard today. We're ready for we always them. Work always work together. Team. Excellent example of teamwork. Nice going. Yes, go. Siren, Ice, yes, and Jazz. The men are up next. Lanny Ross of Los Angeles, California versus Sean Goodwin of Santa Ana, California. Lanny Ross, our 35-year-old cabinet maker, 5'9", 170 pounds, the seventh seed. He will battle John Goodwin, our surfer dude, 28 years old, 6 foot 2 10, a clothing salesman from right. Banana Republic. Well, the gladiators, it's turbo. It's gonna be brutal. Sitting on the couch, you're missing all the fun. Come on, baby, let's go. Hawk, woo, it's going down. It might be a nice guy, but that's all right. And our newest gladiator, <laughs> Rebel. Payback, payback, big payback. Rebel packs a lot of punch, 6'3", 285. That's what Lanny and Sean will have to deal with. We're underway. Great leap there by Sean right over Turbo to score. The spin move there on Rebel. Oh, Sean is so hot today. This circle is one of the best male contenders we've had on Gladiators. Sean Goodwin gets double team there and can't score. Lanny has one bounce off the rim of the cylinder. 20 seconds to go. <laughs> Nothing doing there. It's turbo knock, Sean out of bounds. Rebel doing another good job on Sean. Five seconds to go. Oh man, running out of steam. Lanny tries to score, and that is it. Well played all the way around. Sean Goodwin, Lanny Ross, Rebel, Hawk, and Turbo. Let's take a look at Sean Goodwin's technique. How about this? Have you ever seen a person back into it? Well, Turbo wasn't buying. He wraps them up hard. But the move that got everyone's attention, this one. Up, over, and in. Turbo, you are never suckered in by head fakes, never suckered in by hip fakes, but you weren't ready for that dive over the top of you. I have never in four years seen a move like that. I was right on his waist, right where I'm supposed to be. Next thing I know, his waist is in my face. <laughs> He's doing a gorilla donkey on me. John, pre-planned or just instinctive? Uh, I had to go with the instinctive move. These guys are on me like glue. I just had to do whatever came natural. Nice going, both of you. Sean now on his way over to visit his five-year-old son, Charlie. Way to go, Dad. <laughs> 